Should I do it with like sunglasses or without? Because I don't know how I look. It's fine, I think. Whatever. Whatever. I am who I am. <clears throat> okay, that was not good. I am who I am. So guys, today I am going to Amsterdam. And I'm going with my boyfriend. He doesn't know that I'll be vlogging, so he probably hates me right now when he knows that. And uh, yeah, it's been one month since I saw him because, as you know, he doesn't live in Belgium. And because of circumstances, because he was on holidays and then my colleague was on holidays, we didn't saw each other for like one month. That's why we are doing a trip together this weekend. And I'm so excited. It's been a while since I'm was in Amsterdam I think like three or four years I think four years or five years so that's pretty long I found a really nice nice vintage luxury designer shop so I'm definitely gonna check that out I'm gonna go on the sky tower or what is it I don't know what it was but you will see and <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna pick my boyfriend up in Brussels and we're gonna drive to Antwerp to park our car there and then we're gonna take the train to Amsterdam and my baby is still sleeping. She looks so peaceful. Nina. Her ear like. Nina. Nini. Oh. Oh my god, so cute. So we just arrived in Amsterdam and this is our room look how beautiful oh my god this is like literally such a romantic place like what the fuck bitch hi but where the fuck is like the shower i hope here Ooh, the toilet and the shower such a big shower. Hmm. Yes, girl. Oh, hi there. So it's our second day in Amsterdam and yesterday I didn't film, to be honest, because it was already late and I didn't want to take my camera with me. Um, we went to the red light district and we went to the... What was it again? It was like um, a prostitution house. It was a museum. It was amazing, the museum, to be honest. Uh, a lot of things I didn't know yet. It was an old, um, yeah, prostitution house or how do you say it? I don't know, brothel. I don't know. Um, today we're going to shop. I'm gonna go to some vintage shops where they have Louis Vuittons, Chanel's, Burberry's for really good prices. And then after we're going to the Sky Tower here in Amsterdam, the Amsterdam Lookout, I think. And there's the highest swing in Europe, so we're gonna do that also. So let's go. Okay, so we were shopping today and we went to the vintage shop. It was amazing. The Louis Vuittons looked amazing. Of course, some look better than the others, but I saw a cute bag that I really loved, but I wasn't sure about it because I wanted a bigger one. So I left my number there and they called me like 10 minutes ago that there is a bigger one right now, so I'm gonna check it out tomorrow. I didn't film the lot because I was shopping basically and that's nothing really exciting for you to see. So I went to a couple makeup shops and I bought a couple things. I'm gonna show you what I bought right now. I went to the Bear Carve and I'm gonna show you what I bought. And I say it again. <laughs> so in the bear curve, I went to NARS and I bought the concealer. I don't know if it's going to be in my shape because I just guessed and the uh, lady on the counter guessed what my shape would be. So yeah, we'll see about this one. And then I bought a blush because I don't have a lot of blushes at home. I always use like the same blush and I wanted something else. And I heard the NARS ones were really good. So here it is. I There was like a more popular one. I think it was called Orgasm. But it's like really shimmery and it's gonna be like too much. So I bought this one. It's such a nice shade I think. I hope so because I already had makeup on so I didn't test it. And this is in the color Liberty. And the concealer is in the shade Medium 1 
custard. She said it was a really popular sheet, so yeah. And I also went to the beauty editor. The ladies there were so, so friendly. And I bought two new lashes, I think. To be honest, that I have these already, so <laughs> I'm scared. But I bought them in number 14, Noel, and in number 13, Jade. I think the Jade ones look amazing. Yeah, I wanted to buy the Kevin Aquan bronzing powder, but it was sold out. And I wanted to buy the new palettes from Huda Beauty, but they were sold out too. So I'm gonna order them. And I will probably have them in a couple weeks, so... That's good. I Also, I tried a concealer from Kevin Aquan. She put the concealer in a can here, so I can try it out because I didn't know my shade color. But I felt it on my skin and it felt really amazing, hydrating and full coverage. So I hope I find my perfect shade, so I'm gonna order it because it looked unbelievably good to Kevin Aquan. I didn't heard a lot about the Kevin Aquan concealer, to be honest. Only about the sculpting powders, but let's try it out. So we just arrived at the Amsterdam Lookout, or what is the name? I don't know what it is. And when I look there, it looks like it's gonna rain. So I'm scared that we're gonna be like on there and it's gonna fucking like thunder. Cause I, I don't want that. <laughs> So we're gonna do this in a minute. Oh my god, so we just went up there. It was freezing cold, but it was such an experience. And yeah, I'm gonna buy the movies of it because they filmed it and it's gonna be crazy. I hope there's no sound in it because we were talking shit in that video. Anyway, we're gonna search something to eat right now and then we're gonna walk around probably. I hope it will not rain because it's really cloudy right now, but we'll see. Okay, oh wait, what am I gonna say? Okay. Good morning, it's our last day today and I went to the shop again, the vintage shop and oh my god, I bought a backpack Louis Vuitton. I'm so broke right now. Everyone's gonna be angry at my house, but it was so cute, I couldn't resist it. I'm gonna show you when I'm home and now we're going to take a boat and explore the canals.
So now we're going to the Anna Frank house. We haven't reserved our ticket, so we'll not be able to go in. But we're just gonna take a look outside because I've never been there and I've been like three or four times in Amsterdam, so it's such a shame. <laughs> I know. So we were looking for the Anna Frank house and my boyfriend said it was this house. Well bitch, this is a museum. Babe stop! And bitch, of course, this is the house. Yes, bitch. Anna Frank was really hiding in this modern house there. Obviously she was hiding there. Oh my god, I look this fucking disgusting and I put this ring light on me so you sure see all the details on my face <laughs> I just got home took a bath washed my hair and yeah that's basically what I did but I wanted to show you my new bag that I bought in Amsterdam so I'm gonna quickly show you my new bag what the fuck? by the way I'm in my PJ so ooh, there's a stain there and no it's not from that bitch so this is the bag that I bought in Amsterdam. I love it so much. Obviously it's from Louis Vuitton, as you can see. There's nothing in it right now, so it's really flat. But this is the Montsouris. I wanted to say je pense. Yes, it's the Montsouris backpack. And obviously it's vintage, that's why you see these stains on it. But to be honest, I love, love, love this bag. I'm gonna show you how it looks. I bought this in L'Etoile Luxury Vintage in Amsterdam. You have like three shops there. And this is with like this, um, how do you say it? Yes, you know what I mean. And the inside is just, yeah, this is the inside. Right now, like I said, it looks a bit flat because there's nothing in it. Maybe I should put something in it because it looks ridiculous right now. But I paid 850 euros. Um, for this and yeah so like I said already five times I think it's vintage and the back itself is from 1997 I'm gonna quickly put something in it because this looks ridiculous okay now it's even worse I put it too much in it but anyway as you can see like the straps or how do you call it are really manly not that I'm really manly but I wanted to be like this because there were other ones with like tiny straps and it was too feminine for me I no not for me because I am feminine too but oh my god you know what I mean I have another bag from Louis Vuitton that's really feminine so I wanted this to be like masculine not really because it's not masculine but anyway so this is my new bag um, and I absolutely love it so if you're in Amsterdam definitely check the stores out so guys this was it for Amsterdam I really had an amazing time I didn't film a lot because to be honest, I was there for three days, but I was there really late the first day. We didn't do a lot. And also because I didn't saw him for like one month, so I couldn't like film all the time, as you may understand, because otherwise it would be like annoying. But I do had an amazing time and I forgot how amazing Amsterdam was, to be honest. So I'm definitely gonna go back. I don't think for three days, maybe two days or something, or maybe just one day because it's not that far. And yeah, I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye guys!